Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today, I'm going to provide a quick update on the activities from Dr. Kacha and his company, Uvan Research. As always, I want to thank Nick from NTZ Publications for the newsletter, which provides much of the information. You can find a link to sign up for this in the description. This is the update from the original lifespan study. A very quick review, as we have covered this in detail elsewhere. The study started in February 2021, when the rats were 25 months old, which is middle aged for a rat. There were 16 females, eight in each group of treatment and control. One of the treated rats is still alive, which makes her around 44 months old. This is quite old for a spray dory rat, which generally will live between 24 and 36 months. In human equivalent, it is about 110 years. This is a rat. She is called Sima, and here she is looking around her box. A few things. The last E5 dose was six months ago, so it does seem that the effect lasts for a while. Seema still has her eyesight, has no skin cankers or bald spots on her coat, and has good motor function. I am not an expert on rats, but she does seem to move well for a rat at the equivalent age of 110 for a human. The final statistics for the trial, how much median lifespan was extended, for example, are pending the end of the trial, which will happen when Seema dies. The second item is an update on the Neil human trial. Again, a brief refresher. Neil, also known as Blue Gel, is a topical cream being targeted to improve aging skin. Its active ingredient is GHKCU, a copper peptide, which gives it its blue color. Neil is now available from Uvan, I think only in the US. You can find out more at www.neil.bio. Neil has been undergoing a human trial and the preliminary results have been released. The trial had 20 participants aged between 65 and 85 and lasted three months. The intervention was to apply Neil on the face three times a day for the first week and twice a day from then on. They saw an increase in 27 to 30% in levels of collagen in the skin. Collagen makes up 70% of the dry weight of the skin in young people and is responsible for the strength and elasticity. So it's great to see this increase. They used high resolution dermal ultrasound scans to look at the levels of collagen. These images are from the same person taken before and after the trial. The lighter areas show where more collagen is. In this case, the increase was about 57%. This chart is showing the percentage increase of collagen for each of the individuals during the three month trial period. There is quite a wide variance, but as Akshay says, this could be due to compliance or the gender or ethnic differences. Uvan is also working on two other trials. One of these is a human trial for E5 as a topical ointment, which was expected to start late this year. The other is the second mixed sex lifespan study, which was started in June 2022. No update on these at this time. That's all I have at the moment. I wish you all well, and I will speak to you again soon.